Yeah. Our earmark of him becoming the ultimate measure of truth. Here's an earmark for you. Is the ability to put off present gratification for the sake of a future reward. Yes. 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 What? The earmark of us maturing in our faith, being perfected in our faith, is the ability to put off present gratification for the sake of a future reward. The future reward for the believer is not heaven. The future reward for us is what? More like him. So they can say, so we can say as, as innocent and as vibrant as Jesus said, when you see the Father, you see me. Yeah. That eliminate that eliminate a lot of the religion that's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus got killed because he said he was equal with God. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. we, we know we know the whole cycle of <laughs> you know his demise. It was a cycle, we know, but one of the main catalysts for him being uh taken by the uh, Pharisees and Sadducees and taken to Rome to the to the Roman government was because he equated himself with God. And I'm not calling you God. But I'm just telling you that we're the offspring of God. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. And if we're going to partake of what he already assigned for us, oh man, we're going to have to grab a hold of that earmark. We're going to have to be faithful. We're going to be committed in this hour so that the dinner thieves can continue to be enlisted in our thinking patterns so that religion won't continue to tread upon our hearts. Desecrated that which is holy in the sight of God. Yeah. Because during this hour, everything is going to be measured through Christ. Growth will be measured through Christ. Impartations through Christ. Oh boy. The glory will be measured through Christ. It has to be all Christ and no man. No flesh. It has to be Christ-centered instead of man's accomplishment. Everything. <clears throat> See, we, we, you know, when you, we talk on this level, we're like, man, I ain't got no wiggle room. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The best kind of life you can have. Yeah. Yeah. Too much, too many times we try to see, see what we can get away with. <coughs> I'm not trying to figure out what I can get away with, especially when you've been done away. With, by his love Amen. and his grace. His, it constrains me. I've exchanged my, my allegiance to a higher authority. Mm -hmm. Look, y'all looking at me real funny. You haven't yet? You need to. You didn't get saved so you can roam. Amen. You, you got saved with a destination. God had a destination for your life. It wasn't heaven. Yes. Heaven came in the person of Jesus. When the Holy Spirit came to the earth, heaven came to us. Mm -hmm. Now he lives in us. Mm -hmm. We have the earnest, not the consummation or the fullness of whatever he's going to do with us. But he didn't, he didn't, that's a prized possession that he had for us. And so that, that's so we can be fully clothed with the Christ nature. So that death can be swallowed up in victory. Yes. I don't want to get to that place that the, the death will be swallowed up in victory. Jesus told him, in John 8, he told him, he said, my word has no place in you. He was talking to traditional mindsets. We're not traditional people. We're kingdom people. Mm -hmm. I want to have it. He said, the fruit of the word having place in you, you will not see death. That's, that's in your Bible. Mm -hmm. So when the word is in us, we won't see death. Which means... My walk with him will be full of vitality. It'll be fresh. It'll be so that we can live and move and have our being in him so it just won't be some colloquial thought. Yes. It's something we can just try to throw up in the air so somebody else can be enticed. But we become a parabolic people. The demonstration of what we teach and what we hear. Amen? Amen. Oh, this is good. In this hour, the measurement of Christ it's not about us getting better. It's not, it's not a better you that's coming forth. The counsel of God's word. Let me just go ahead and finish because I got one more page. Let me just read this to you. 
Sit and me serenade you with some of my thoughts. <laughs> it's not just the better you coming forth. The counsel of God's word bears record of total takeover. Oh, yeah. Not just a makeover. See, some of us live the makeover. Mm -hmm. We keep the original structure intact. We just move things around. Yeah. You know, you know, anybody, mm -hmm. you, you know, when you do a makeover in your house, you just don't just, just knock the house down. All right, come on. Right. Now, you may now you pull the carpet up. You may 